Like, look at the RS3 from that angle. It looks so cool. Welcome back to the great American road trip that we're on in the Crew 2 as we go from coast to coast. It is a new month, which means there are some brand new vehicles for us to check out in the Crew 2, which is exactly what we're gonna do today. So, in the Crew 2, in case you didn't know yet, when you have the season pass, you obviously get these cars a week early, but you also get them delivered to your garage completely for free. So, we've already got the Audi RS3 delivered to our garage, as well as the boat, which is over... Wait, no, not here, not here, other place. This is the boat, aha! It's monstrous boat, and there's actually some really, really cool things that you might not know about that boat, which we'll get into in a little bit. So, let's start it off with this, the Audi RS3 LMS. This thing is an insanely cool car and oh damn, I, I like it a lot. Fun fact, there was actually a point a couple of years ago where I was looking at buying an Audi RS3, but for reasons I didn't end up picking it up, but it's still such such a cool car. Anyways, I think we need to do what this car was made to do. So, it's completely bone stock now. Let's go take it over to one of the race courses in the game and see what we can do to it over there. I think we're actually gonna need to go to like just outside of Vegas to do this because there aren't that many touring car areas in the game, but let's head over to this one just south of Vegas. So this run's gonna be completely bone stock after that. We can go and do some performance customization and see if there's actually any upgrades that we can do to this thing. It's possible. I know that with the with the touring cars, usually you don't really have that many options, if any. But we'll see what there is. Anyways, let's give it a go. We're on normal. Let's see what we've got. It's been a very long time since we've done the touring cars. Basically, since this game's come out, we've just stuck to, like, the street racing cars and that's been it. But now that we've got this thing, I think it's I think it's right that we jump back in. So, first of all, I want to see... No, 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 don't abort. Yo, check out the interior on this RS3. It is so goddamn cool. I love the whole stripped out thing. We've got proper racing seats. We're, like, all protected on a... What? I love the virtual, like, cockpit, though. It's so cool seeing, like, the, the revs going, like, in virtual. I don't know. I feel like that's weird. All the cars I've ever owned have always been, like, a proper dial, but that's cool. We've also got our speed in kilometers on the dash. Interesting. We're actually doing over 170 miles an hour. 180 miles an hour. That's actually faster than the than the game said it could do. Oh, what? I just I just pressed the NOS to see where the NOS came out of. That is actually the poo shoot. I did not realize that. Okay. I love the wide body though. This thing could actually be really cool. Hopefully we can do some painting to it and some customization because then it's already like customized to be like a wide body RS3 with a big wang and everything and it's and it's capable. So I think if we could paint this thing that would that would be really cool. I think this is actually one of the only front wheel drive touring cars in the game as well. I always remember getting confused with one of the older Audi uh, like race cars like this because I always think of Audis as all wheel drive but I think these ones are actually front-wheel drive, which makes it a little bit different to drive than the than the normal touring cars. But anyways, first place there. Thank you very much, game. We get actually some more performance parts from that, which is which is quite good, as well as 16 grand. So let's head back to the garage, see what customization we can do, and go from there. All right, so let's see. We can actually customize it. Oh, and we have visual parts. Now, will this just be rims? I have a feeling it will be. Yeah, it will just be rims, but... That's okay, it sort of makes sense, it's a race car, you're not going to be able to go in and customize it. I'm more interested to see if we can actually paint this thing. I do want to get some better rims on this though, because I feel like the, the stock rims, they're, they're cool, but I don't know. We could do better. Oh, I really like those deep dish. Okay, yeah, I like them. And do I want them black? Or do I want them a little like gray? Gray could look cool. We can also change our calipers. Let's make our calipers. Let's have some fun with them. Maybe make them bright purple? Purple's not bad. Livery. Livery's the main thing that I- or actually, sorry, I want to change- nope, nope, damn it. Pressing all the wrong buttons. Color. There we go. So can we actually paint it? We can, but we can't get rid of all the Audi RS3, like, LMS numbers on it, which is kind of annoying. Wait a second. Maybe if I get the livery out and I create a livery, could I cover- Yes! Did it! Nailed it! That- Oh! <laughs> that looks pretty dope. I'm digging that. Sadly, we can't paint the wing, but 
I mean, what will you do? So, let's upgrade this thing. So, stock, we have 350 horsepower. Okay, let's get some upgrades on and see how just insanely quick that we can make this thing. I have a feeling with these upgrades, it's gonna be pretty, pretty damn quick. There's already 250. We won't be able to upgrade this thing to the max because I never went in and did all the touring car stuff, but with all of the upgrades that I have available, 500 horsepower. That's not bad. Oh, wait, I just actually found something super cool. So you see this green? You see how there's green there in the roll cage and like green on the interior and even like green back here? Technically, that's part of the rear wing. And even in the headlights, that's part of like the stock color of this car. So if I actually come in and I customize it and I remove my livery, I can paint this car to be whatever color I want. Oh, that is cool. Oh, that green is so mean looking, but I will say with the red rear wing, it doesn't really match, but it's a Christmas car. It's all good. Don't worry about it. So look at us. We've got our purple brake calipers, our deep dish, like sort of blacky gray rims, green roll cage in there. The only thing that's a different color is the rear wing, which sadly we can't remove, but it's all good. We got a 500 horsepower Audi RS3. How could you complain? All right, so let's go back and do another race. Let's find another race around. Let's actually go all the way to the one in New Jersey. There's a pretty good racetrack here if I remember. Yeah, here we go. Jersey every zone track. There we go. I will say the purple brake calipers don't really go with the rest of the car, but purple brake calipers, you can't complain. My, my car had orange brake calipers. Oh, great. Thanks, buddy, for crashing into me back there. You've already ruined my nice green paint. AI is actually giving me a good run for my money here. We've got this Lambo, we've got a McLaren up in front, and I think that's a Dodge Viper? All the way in first? Come on. Let's go. Past the McLaren. Oh, my God. 500 horsepower walking past the McLaren. Okay. All right, what is this guy up in all the way up here? I think that's a C6 Corvette, but it... Also might be a Dodge Viper. I can't really tell yet. I just see the big stripes and general sports car shape. It is a Corvette. Oh, all right. Probably shouldn't get distracted by trying to figure out what other cars are in the race because they just run wide. Oh, look at the interior with my bright... Words are hard. Look at the interior with my bright green paint job. I was able to paint the whole roll cage and everything. That is so cool! Alright, we only got one more lap left of this, so... Oh! Okay, it's not only me who's who's screwing up that corner. The Corvette took a really weird line in. Uh, there is only 10% left in this race, and I'm not winning. I would like the extra performance parts, please. Nope! Get on the road! Come on! Come on! Come on! Oh, wait, I only need to come third. What am I doing? Oh. I'm fine. I'm all, I'm all good. Reach top three. Well, thanks, game. I knew that, <laughs> obviously. There we go, 16 grand, hello AI. Damn, they look cool. Like, look at the RS3 from that angle. It looks so cool. I love this car. All right, let's pick up our performance parts and go check out that crazy boat. So if, if I just jump into the boat, where's it actually gonna put me? It's called the Aero Boat SV12 from the UK. So I don't actually know if this is a real boat or not, but I wanted to check it out because it does something pretty damn cool actually, or has something pretty cool with it. So yeah, the Aero Boat SV12. This thing is pretty cool because it's actually powered by a Rolls Royce V12 engine is what I saw online actually. <laughs> like I said, I don't actually know if this is a real boat, I know Aeroboat is a real company, but when I searched up this particular one, I couldn't find anything about it. So it might be like a concept boat? I don't know if that's a thing. I, it's probably a thing. I must say though, look how damn cool this thing is. Like, don't ask me why it's shaped like that. Maybe it's good for boat related things, but it looks pretty damn cool. Wait a second. How many, how many seats is actually in this boat? Let me, let me see real quick. There's... There are one, two, three, four. Oh, cool. Look at your seating position. It's like a McLaren F1 where you sit in the middle and your passengers sort of just get a bit screwed. So let's go see what sort of customization we can do to it 
if anything. I think the minimum will be able to paint this thing. All right, so let's see, customize. So yeah, there's no visual parts for it. That's sort of expected, but we can come in here and actually paint the thing. So the side of it's actually made of wood. That's that cool thing there, but we've also can, we can do like proper painting to it. Well played. Oh, I like the yellow. And then we've already got some boat performance parts, like from going through the story and stuff. We've got some of those. So yeah, let's, let's toss them on. Oh yeah. I forgot to mention this boat has nearly uh 2,500 horsepower <laughs> just because it crazy, right? With the upgrades that I have on it, it comes nowhere near to max out, but 2,500 horsepower. We can do nearly 170 miles an hour off-road, or off-road, on water. 170 miles an hour in water would be terrifying. Look at the acceleration! Oh my god, it's gone! That is insane, and this is in, like, choppy water. Oh my god. All right, we need some flat water. I want to see what this- hold on. I want to do a 0 to 60 test in the boat. All right, in 3, 2, 1, and go, 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 and it's like 1 second to 60. That's insane. In, in a boat, and we're doing 160 miles an hour. 170 miles an hour. That's fast. All right, we need to go find a boat race for this thing because- Okay, that's cool. Well played. I- yeah, I, I- I think this is gonna go quite well for my boat. Let's go. Oh my god. They got off to an insane start. I'm trying to trim, like, trying to pick up the front of my boat so I can go even faster. Oh, the AI's crashing. So now I will be honest. I'm not very good at boat racing. However, I'm gonna try my best. Cross fingers that I can do quite well today, but no promises. We'll, we'll have to see. All I know is a boat doing 170 miles an hour is really fast and really scary. I went boating over the summer and we did like 30 miles an hour, 40 miles an hour. Feels fast. Very fast. I may have found a problem with the boat. It doesn't like to turn very much. It, it goes in a straight line really well, but turning, eh, it's not that good at that. Oh, what? Okay, look, look, I found the- see the problem? <laughs> Trying to turn hard to go around the corner, it's just understeer, understeer, understeer. Oh my god, that was such a short race! Oh! We nearly went to the- and we crushed the guy. Okay, we nearly went to the moon. Things I didn't expect to happen. Fifth place, like I said, I'm not very good at the whole boat racing thing. Anyways, the power boat, I must say, insanely cool. I really, really like this thing. And that RS3, like I, like I was saying, I'm all, I've always been a huge fan of the RS3s and stuff like that. But now that we got like a wide body one and we can do all that cool painting stuff to it. Yeah, that's, that's really awesome. Anyways, guys, I'm going to wrap that up there. That was your first look at the two brand new vehicles coming to the Crew 2 in November. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Next month. Keep in mind, we've got that huge update coming for the crew too, which should be super cool. Stay tuned for that. Thank you so much for watching, and I will see you guys soon. Thanks for watching. Bye!